so 100 people joined the course as you see as a product mm-hmm. manager right how many people getting jobs uh, i mean how many people uh, get placed from your platform hey hi makan thanks for joining yeah hi ivan thanks for inviting me on it chat yeah no problem so tell me about yourself so where are you from what you uh, studied and what you're doing right now mm-hmm. so i'm um, basically from kanpur but i have done my graduation uh, in, from gss uh, noida so i am a pass out of 2017 batch i uh, post like uh, completing the graduation i wasn't very much clear about my career so i pre- i started preparing for government examinations like upsc rbi and then sooner i realized that uh, i might not be able to pursue this career you know so i think uh, at that point of time i didn't have uh, the required skills the industrial skills right, to get a job in it and also i was not prepared to uh, sort of work as a developer or work in this it uh, industry so that is when i just uh, started working as a customer service associate at amazon so that was the first opportunity that i got so i, I joined as a csa and i worked there for almost 2 uh, years i like i worked in different departments as well like retail then account change and quality as well like so i interacted with lot of te- uh, team team members uh, customers with across the globe like the americans the uh, europeans and all those uh, you know is is a specific regions as well Uh, so while working as a customer service associate uh, so i was exposed to uh, i was exposed to a lot of applications tools and and that is when kind of it uh, hit you know i uh, kind of got a thought that that i i might be you know more uh, you know appropriate for uh, these kind of roles or i might i might do good in uh, it as well uh, but right, like i said i even at that point of time i didn't have those skills and i i I didn't know much about it, and that is when I found a career job. I explored about a career job, saw its uh, curriculum and all the mentors and everything, and I saw that there are these four legit guys who are passed out from IIT and uh, they are working. They making like they have this uh, platform wherein they they are teaching students full stack development and helping them to get a job and crack their first IT job. So I think that is what interested me most and. Uh, I joined like a job. I studied there for six months, and uh, like now the rest was history, right? I got two product uh, roles from uh, product-based companies. One out of based out of Pune, and the other one was uh, in Hyderabad. And uh, I worked there as a product development engineer. And that company was into developing uh, SaaS products, software as a service, right? Uh, these products for a HR domain. so like you okay. see the career side of uh, companies like cognizant microsoft right so those external career side whenever you go and search for a job and you want to apply as a uh, as a developer or right in diff- on different roles so uh, so i was a part of uh, that particular product and i worked there for almost one and a half years and uh, okay. that is when i actually realized that uh, I, st- i mean like i said i've been uh, kind of doing experiments all these four years uh, post graduation in different okay. sort of things whether it is government then customer service and then as a product development engineer and then i realized i i am still looking out for something and luckily okay. uh, i at your job uh, where i studied as a student right uh, they okay. offered me this role wherein i have to manage a sort of product and i have to uh, interact with students and help them get a job solve their problems and you know make some changes and you know improve the product and all those things so i think th- that is when I, uh, i sort of decided to change my career entirely from a developer to a sort of product manager so currently i'm working as a technical product manager here at akeja so that was a brief about my journey how after graduating in 2017 i've tried different careers different uh, fields and now i'm in front of you Okay, okay, cool. So you first worked in a BPO, and then you got a product development, development side. You worked in a development side, and then you came here as a product manager, right? How, Correct. Uh, a technical product manager. Yeah. Yeah, technical product manager. Yeah, there's a lot of transition from different different domains, right? So what are the struggles exactly. you face from BPO to development? You have to learn something back end. So how it is hard? What are the struggles you facing? Just explain those things. Uh, of course, uh, I think the struggles or difficulties, if you talk about. Uh, what i faced to make a transition from non it to it was of course the skills 
due to lack of skills i think that which are required to work in an it industry right i didn't get opportunity you know in companies i tried to apply to few companies and i got rejected and that was bound to happen because i didn't have skills right so i did face these challenges like even if you talk about acquiring uh, acquiring these skills be it data structures algorithms back end front end stats all those things i i had my struggle to learn those things right but then acquire job made it very smooth the instructor they helped me a lot even those revision sessions right they helped me to grab things at my pace uh, and i felt that kind of environment wherein everyone is working for me right they making sure that i as a student uh, i'm able to understand each and everything I'm able to get a job so eventually it happened and people thinking like uh, it's too hard to i um, mean jump from a non tech role to tech role there is some mis- misconception going on around the place right what do you think about that is this really is this really hard to move what are you thinking i think yeah there are some myths which i can maybe think of uh, which i have in my mind right now would be like there a lot of people they think that a career in tech is sedentary the kind of very monotonous or boring but i tell you what us as a professional what we do inside the office right is like coordinating with other team members professionals and uh, mapping the development of the company's whole uh, tech environment tech landscape right but outside the office a big part of it is actually making network the social network right? that is making it a highly sociable and interactive career the first point the second point i can say is uh, the myth right we talking about the myth the second point would be Uh, yeah people also think that working in tech is easy which is not the reason is that tech is a highly paced and competitive industry right so thus yeah. working i think in tech will not be always be will not always be easy right so it because it requires a lot of dedication research even sometimes overtime as well to complete your projects in in some tight deadlines as well so a lot of companies follow the agile uh, methodology right so we do have everything structured we have to complete sort of uh, projects in a very tight tight deadline so it's not very easy but then it's uh, i mean if you are interested in tech if you have interest working in tech building something from scratch or building uh, these things building products in tech right so it will be fun for you uh, other myths i can say is, yeah a lot of people say that the cs degree is a must computer science i'll tell uh-huh. you a lot of i i, I was reporting to my manager and i've seen a lot of managers and directors also as well in big companies they don't have the cs degree even if you talk about right. the big sharks right like linkedin snapchat even yeah. youtube ceo as well, they don't have they don't have the cs degree right so at yeah. entry level technical skills are often preferred you know they are picked up through your work and having i think a different educational background than computer science uh, it sometimes enables you to have a different perspective altogether and bring some you know intelligent or fresh ideas to the role so i think that is what uh, i think that is the reason that a lot of you will see a lot of management and lot of other roles are being uh, you know kind of occupied by uh, people who do not have the csd the ceo kind of post and other things as a higher management post and one more thing so you worked in a bpo that you didn't know anything about coding you get a job of one of year uh, as a back end back end sir most product developments comes on a back end right so you learn yeah, back exactly. getting a job two problems i can see here Uh, most of my comments it's like uh, how do you learn because you didn't have any idea about coding you started learning and second thing you passed to 2017 as you said so after 2017 you worked almost 2019 until 2019 you worked in bpo i think so after two years how you get your first interview that's the biggest struggle you are facing right so what you did for uh, getting an interview what you did for learning a coding so explain those things I think that was very good question that how I actually got my first interview scheduled right because I come I'm coming from background where I have uh, where I have no skills at hand and also been working in a customer service so that becomes difficult uh, but then like I said the my enrollment into such full stack development bootcamp solved all my problem because see uh, I was only I, I used to focus I mean I was supposed to focus on my studies only so for the next 6 months once i enroll myself into this program my my the complete focus was on to learning the skills practicing data structures every day making some good projects right these were the only challenges because challenges now has been i can say converted into something very uh, realistic goals 
earlier when i didn't join any boot camp uh, i the like, only challenge i had was the job right i want a job i never said myself that i didn't have these skills i want to learn these skills but once i joined and once uh, kind of they have explained me that see the job is something which will which is a by product now once you have these skills it will happen automatically and we are here because we have been doing that work we, we are making sure that we have enough types with companies so that we can help you get place right so i think enrolling into a boot camp will solve all will kind of solve all your problems this is just one stop uh, solution right a shop where you will get everything so this uh, this decision actually changed my career upside, upside down because just one year ago one year back i was working as a customer service didn't know what will, what i will do you know in my career ahead uh, even lot of my friends who are still working their customer service they are also kind of very confused and uh, they used to call me up and, and that's what i say to them that just figure out what you want to do uh, if you want to change your career you want to get into it or data analytics anything right just uh, like i used to say if you want to reach anywhere right uh, consult a person or it's if it is a boot camp a person who's already there who know, who has already gone through that journey right so that makes everything easy and that helped me to get my first interview uh, i didn't crack it of course Uh, it took me almost five to six interviews, and after I think six, uh, appear, when I have already appeared for more than five, like six interviews, I got two offers. Okay. But then, like I said, everything was taken care of by them. I was just into studies and just learning so those skills. So, those interviews yeah. also comes from the acute jobs. They help you to get those interviews, right? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, as of now, I'll, I'll, I mean, I'm a student of a batch too, right? That was in December 2018. as of okay. now if you talk about back your job has tie up with more than 300 companies that that okay. to legit companies and very uh, good startups right so mm-hmm. i think you don't have to worry about placements yeah all right so uh, other than that uh, in a placement like um, you explain about the placements right so everyone getting the calls or else uh, it uh, depends on the score inside that uh, platform or uh, anything specific you any qualifications over there or if i join the course i completed whatever training you gave i completed i directly go and attend the interview and how much placement uh, i mean a percentage if 100 people join the course as you see as a product mm-hmm. manager right how many people getting jobs uh, i mean how many people uh, get placed from your platform can you give any idea over there yeah uh, see we do have a criteria and we must the reason is let's say if you if you got a job by just chance you don't have any skills but you still got a job right so getting a yeah. job is i i'll tell you people a student might think that the real problem they are here to solve is getting a job no the real problem is once you got a job the real problem will be to sustain a job to actually work in that environment right because let's say you don't have any skills and uh, we got your job so just two or three months down the line you will realize that you're not able to cope up with the other developers you're not able to complete the work in uh, you know within deadlines that is a real challenge so we that's the reason we have a criteria to judge the students based on their performance in the mock test we have contest every week we have mock test every month and once you complete the particular track let's say a front end or back end right let's say you completed a front end and you are uh, aspiring for a front end role once you complete all the modules you will have to face a front end placement readiness mock so that name itself suggests you that whether you are ready for a placement or not so we want that you are equipped with the necessary uh, skills the necessary knowledge to work as a developer in real life not just getting a job that's not a very tough thing to crack right you will get a job uh, sooner or later you will get some someone will get in a four months in five months you'll maybe get in a six eight nine months a lot of students who got a very good package even a great package of more than 12 lp in nine months someone oh. got a job in just four months but five or six lp right mm-hmm. so that's what i'm saying getting a job is not a difficult uh, is it not a difficult the difficult part is to sustain a job so there is reason we have a criteria so we make sure if your student is not uh, you know if student is, does not have enough uh, knowledge right as a developer so we'll again uh, brush up his skills we'll again ask him to repeat the module to study again to pass all the tests so that you at least have bare minimum idea of what is it so we do have a criteria so, uh, and we decide based on uh, let's say we have i mean just giving a fair idea let's say we have a mock score of 10 right so somewhere around let's say depending upon the average score will decide let's say we more than 6 more than 7 we will pick up those students let's say we have a company coming into uh, you know to hire a kid of students so we'll uh, decide a criteria and, and students who are 
who have already scored more than that, they will be uh, eligible for the placement. So that is how we uh, kind of schedule schedule placements. Now coming to your other question, so the percentage, right? So if I if I tell you my experience as a student uh, back in batch two, right? So we were sixty students, and almost more than I think fifty or fifty two, some around uh, these numbers. We almost got placed. I am oh. not sure about the other rate because I lost touch, but I am mm -hmm. sure even we have got placed. So okay. right now also we, we claim hundred percent, and uh, somewhere around that, you know, we we are making sure that people are getting placed. I'm not okay. exactly sure about the numbers. Numbers will be on the website, I think, like mm -hmm. maybe uh, eighty-five, ninety, somewhere around that. Okay. And also average package, if you ask, I think it's uh, eight point three LPA. That's the average package. So it can okay. range anywhere between. uh three to i think uh, three would be the minimum but i think maximum has gone up to 41 lpa as well yeah great so the thing is like uh, the person who have to work hard who have a dedication and uh, consistency you will make the path easy like your job is actually you, exactly. you have to learn, you have to learn the thing, that thing you have if you complete that you can go for placement it makes the path easy right it's, exactly. that's a need. if you have dedication you can easily get a job here that's a point correct Correct, correct. Not only path easy, even we will crave, we will make a path for you, right? Even if you don't know what to do, but you have that attitude okay. to learn, to sit with us for next six to seven months, to put some mm -hmm. genuine efforts, you know, without uh, having a, a sort of any distraction. If you can do that, we can promise you that we'll help you to change your career, get a first job or whatever it is. Okay. Okay, fine. So one last question, actually. Uh, currently, if someone want to jump from a non-tech role to tech role, in current situation, you have to give any advice. Now, what role you give? See, uh, like you said, uh, if someone wants to see, even I can quote even my real life experience because uh, I was at a point when I could have never imagined working as a developer in product based company. Right? But that happened uh, because, of course, of uh, IK job. Uh, but if someone wants to switch their career, I think uh, I'll, I'll just suggest them first. You need to think that whether you're really interested uh, working in an IT. You're really interested in building something, in knowing how this website works and how you can be a part of these things, right? If you have mm -hmm. that, or even if you need to have some analytical mindset as well, where you can analyze the data, you can analyze the things and make the changes accordingly. Right? If you have these kind of thinking, right? So definitely you can. Change your career. You'll be a success in IT. If the person, if the student is coming from a non-IT background, even if they have pursued BCA or other uh, degrees, like even I can give my example as well. Right? I was even though I I had a degree, but I still I was working in a customer service. I had a gap of almost one and a half years. So these things were there, but still the required skills. Right? I had those. I acquired those skills through this platform. Once I had this skill, I did face a problem in few companies, maybe two or three companies. I think. they did reject you know my my resume basis my gap and uh, my background that i didn't i don't have any relevant experience all those things but then there will be of i mean there definitely be a company or a lot of companies will be there who will not take care about your background uh, they will only care about you they will only test you on the basis of the skills you have at that point of time once able to justify you have these skills and you can perform well you you will get a job all right all right all right Yeah, that's it from my end. Thank you very much for sharing your experience. I I believe it helped for a lot of people. Of course, uh, it's my pleasure uh, to come on the channel and share my insights. So even if it helps to any any even a one student as well, I'll be really glad. All right, all right, all right. Thank you, thank you very much, Mukhan. Thank you so much, Abhin, for inviting. Yeah. Pleasure.